I'm June Simmons. I'm the founding CEO of Partners in Care Foundation, a 20-year-old not-for-profit based in Southern California, but working across the state and uh, carrying its vision across the nation. The Partners in Care was founded to uh, change the shape of healthcare so it works better for people and better for America. So we're very interested in how we impact health outcomes for people, uh, especially outside the healthcare system. So building partnerships with healthcare payers and providers to achieve better population health outcomes is our core purpose. We look at alternatives to nursing homes, we look at how people can gain skills and resources to better manage uh, chronic conditions, and we look very much at how we can work with people in points of risk, especially those who may have had a hospital or nursing home stay and are ready to return home. So these kinds of transitions of care are very central to our work. Keeping people safe at home is the heart of our work. We've followed the development of the care transitions work from its infancy and enjoyed the uh, partnership with the Eric Coleman model, Robin Golden's Bridge model, and our own home meds program for social workers and others to gather medications in the home. Under the Community Care Transitions Program that CMS administered under the Affordable Care Act, we were proud to work with 11 hospitals, serving over three years 32,000 patients with a net savings of $16 million, possibly more important, a net savings in avoidable human suffering and misery, the tremendous social determinants of health issues that are found and addressed by the coaches are profound. Insights about the nature of uh, threats to successful transition back home and the tremendous advantages of coaching uh, in the home with an alternative workforce are often best illustrated by the stories patients tell us themselves. Dear Ms. Simmons, I'm ready to share my story with you. Your program and my health coach have helped me so much since my discharge from the hospital. After being discharged, my coach helped me identify important health goals. I was having sleeping difficulties and my physician was not aware. My coach helped me contact and schedule an appointment with my physician. I now sleep better. I thought that I was taking my medications correctly, but apparently not. My coach helped me understand how to follow my daily prescription. Thanks to my coach, I communicate with my doctor and manage my medication better. Thank you for providing this program and helping me take charge of my health. Sincerely, Daniel. My name is Anwar Zouahed. I'm the Vice President of Health Services here at Partners in Care Foundation. An example of our day-to-day -day activities include hospital visits from our health coach, following the patient when they're discharged back home, uh, conducting home visits and uh, coordinating with their medical providers, uh, their primary physician, the managed care, the family caregivers, uh, but most importantly, working directly with the patient, helping them understand the reason why they were admitted in the first place and helping coordinate the various services that they require, including transportation, home modification, and medication reconciliation. Before hospitalization, Mabel had been in charge of her own medication, but after discharge, her escalating confusion concerned her and her family, so they concentrated the coaching session on medication reconciliation. In that process, Mabel's daughter realized that she had many duplicate prescriptions issued by her primary physician before and after her hospital stay. Mabel's transition coach showed the family how to make medication notes on Mabel's personal health record and draft questions for the follow-up appointment with her primary physician. Aspects of the healthcare system operated in independence. Now we're moving to fully integrated care. And one of the integrations is the hospital can't be a cliff, it has to be a pathway back home. And for the high risk, that pathway is accompanied by a health coach or a social worker from a home and community based agency. We hear a lot these days about what we call 
social determinants of health or social and behavioral determinants of health. And these are powerful drivers that research has shown for many years really undermine the success of medical investments we make in people's care. And that is what home and community-based organizations are so skilled at. So here's a specialty that exists in our society that can be drawn on and needs to be put into partnership with healthcare payers and providers. Partners in Care Foundation is one of many thousands of organizations like this. We've organized ourselves into a regional delivery system and we're able to address all kinds of issues that get people safe or if neglected, uh, get them in trouble. Modifiable risk factors, food, transportation, knowing how to reach your doctor, a safe environment, understanding cognitive or mental health issues that are impacting people, identifying people's eligibility if they have uh, poverty issues, things that they're eligible for. All these factors go together uh, and those are the chasms people fall through and end up getting uh, in trouble health-wise and coming back to health care when the solution should have been social.